This is no tea party. This is war. Clean up the coffee grounds and squeeze out the gunpowder. We're going to breed heroes tonight. Chris and that gathering an army, marching down the streets with familiar signs and posts. They have targets on our abodes. These burrows have been kind to us. We declared independence. Now they come to claim the bricks for their aesthetic background pleasure. This is a strange frontier to settle. Too much broken glass to be quaint. Observe them in the night streets, still afraid despite all they banish. Tyranny of rents and high rises. We were happy with only tenements, cold water baths and fly bodegas, treasuring empty holes to practice in. No blank canvas to claim open. It is rather filled by the triptych of all the colorful dispossessed seeking the right to be interesting. Long Island keeps coughing them up, sweaters of men and women coming to hang out here and be utterly professional. Factories closed by their neoliberal knives are carved up again, not for those who were polluted, but for the very cleanest to live in. Masters and servants are closer together than ever before, but briefly. No wage rises fast enough for rent, though mortgages keep out taxes. Marching in fine red coats to leave behind mass-produced containers, they stroll down the avenue. Mark this, our target, our enemy. They have their attendant Hessians, too. Accents riding on the dollar. Gangland cowboys and Indians are what they want to live as. Some of us are native to the soil. Some of us come in as the shadow of those we stand to oppose. This is our Brooklyn all of us try and defend. Sons and daughters of Virginia, ever more children of urban liberty. Rainbow warriors sweeping in like Midwestern tornado winds. Assemble, train, and close your ranks. Your uniforms can remain in a disarray. A continental army like you has no need to worry about matching. We are pioneers too, but the right kind. We bring no orders, only the desire for a city beautiful on its own terms. A fresh coat of paint, not new rubble. Bloody, outnumbered and outspent, Headed loyalists amongst our ranks turn over deals to the other side. Where is our David for these Philistines? Fort Greene, rally and hold strong. Bedford, you could scare them away with a sea of sirens and caps. Greenwood Heights, conjure up the dead. Our studying spaces and late night chapels for coffee stained wafers and prayers. Our communal gardens of earthly delights all chained up from us and made safe. We take our last stands in balconies, too late to even riot. We make cocktails to toss into us, not at new storefronts. We have to find a new place for us. In Prospect Park, we cut down the trees, hoping the fallen oaks would stop all the progress over the boulevards. They only subwayed their way around it. In the old stone house, our friends from Maryland resisted in a brave set of back-to-back -back fets and parties, all an honor to their posthumous livers. Random stabs at safe havens, places not yet called neighborhoods, only slabs to rent in between every place fashionable to flaunt. We settle like feathers and flakes down into lofts and stoops at our pleasure and pursue a life of defenses and housing squeezed from bricks, ink, and pocket change. Still, they come to bundle blocks together in convenient packages, sitting safe and sipping chai over the river and into these spaces they creep in and seep up from the shores of Kipps Bay, enjoying the glow and glare of the United Nations while acting unilaterally to dispel everyone. Gather up your supplies and tend to the sick around you. Hide down below in the rails and march for room to breathe. We can go downtown to rest in those streets empty at night. 
5,000 of us fit for duty, we could take refuge in the asphalt swamps of commuterless Wall Street. The most convenient place on earth now they've realized it, and swarm to crowd out everything doled out to those middle to lower classes, unfortunates, uh, lucky, not have a high-risk desk and important tie. Oh, here they robbed us, robbed the city, then the state. We thought we could at least perch here. North, north, let us step together through, jump through gentrifying jump ropes, They've backed us into a corner above Central Park, up and up to Harlem, where we refugees will try and burn our bridges so these fancy men and women cannot come over and claim us as their convenient Columbuses. Our hope and weapon, the name of a neighborhood wrapped up and stained with so much lore, exploitation, and violence. In these blocks, we hope to hide, rest, then live in the open, hating the possibility that hate's century-long distaste might keep away those urbane and outfitted away. These must be the times that gentrify men's souls, for a decent tenement rattled by the subway, a prejudice can be overcome and used against as a proof of consideration. In come the box stores over the blocks, buildings demolished for high rises, while all of us migrants march out to another borough looking for space. Let them know we stood together, tried to grow our gardens up in Morrisania, live simply at Walden within sight of Midtown Towers. We hoped no one would find us under the rubble we assembled into camps, for those the natives called crazy for rejoicing at the sight of sunset by the Empire State Building. Our souls have been tried to guilt, mourn for those restrained, mourn for those unable to move, they were buried. So many gatherings gone, we drift up to the Hudson, to the counties where nothing but plastic shines, where walking is a crime we trespass daily, over White Plains to Westchester. We sat over linoleum like the rest, tried to eat and break bread. Approaching the disco void, we balked, cried, screamed, and insisted they brought the cameras out. Tourists came from the city, reducing our enclaves. They put out crumbs and asked for a song. And we swirled like old pigeons we used to chase in the parks, back when there were parks. Now they are country clubs and gated, yes. They came out in fine red coats for us to perform in a petting zoo. Some of the young screamed. We taught them those tricks, shattering car windows. But the deep friars drowned us, covered up the heartbeats with the golden bubbles popping. Basement to basement, we wished for a paneled subway to link us together in our naked mole lives. The whiskey remains and a few pages handed out and circulated at night after we get off work. In the end, everything is burnt and the Hudson carried the ashes down the river to them. The city lights up with high-rise tents. Shadows think of the Rhine, the Thames, the Danube, or Tokyo Bay. Those coming from deserts, some simply admire so much water. The worst is the driving all day and night to see a familiar face in another hamlet, getting lost on streets named for whatever they destroyed in their Cold War placing. Six lanes wide, this is a cul-de-sac world. No valley, nothing forged. We dance with taps and stands on kegs. The absence of city blocks brings new blocks to our heads, and some are converted, burned inside while we are burned out, anointed with mass-produced chrism, filled with mass-consumed vision, carrying false Jeremiads under their arms as they sit under the cathedral built over our pleasant paganism to sip the life elevated yet lackluster. Our past is saran wrap 
shining in its foil preserves, the ruin is in our memory. Over state lines, we smuggle out new dreams and dreamers to deadpan a whole new life, clogging cement arteries to get to the daily whipping by paper and poor staple. Reduced to classifieds and boards, to wit stuffed under the articles, written by icons beaming at us with perfect teeth and phrases, hurling bod bows out us in suburbia. Yes, everything so simple in them, so simple a solution they speak, because in their minds everything is always so simple, like skim milk. The war continues by simple guerrillas. Arm yourself with whatever it takes to no longer feel afraid and we march, once again, no longer floating on OK, with tricorder hats that cut the air like trireme fronts. Oh, how we batter all the concrete space they put around us like a wall sprayed into the vapor of New Jersey and the polar regions hovering around magnificent Patterson down to New Brunswick. Here goes our army with a navy in its pocket Air Force and our Baroque words entwined, we stop and stoop to sop up degrees to make sails for ourselves to blow, then run down across the isthmus of a state-made peninsula by rivers into the woods and the barrens, only barren of human spread and sprawl. No wasteland of wasted land because we are here and carry on the perennial bloom of our fingertips. I want to imagine a victory out ahead. Our Trenton here to surprise civilization, preparing for its own Christmas time. To teach all who said we were finished that once again we are here kicking below the vinyl rug we were swept under. Once again, the human menagerie strutting out for its cakewalk and shattering. This time I hope for something different in a new city a new way to oppose, perhaps only half avant-garde, to maintain supply lines and contacts down to earth. I have seen the horror of such connections severed, piles of books burned outside the libraries, not by censors, but treasurers. Verses trampled, street music trashed, galleries ripped apart for cocktail space. We have been using our own skins for rolling papers, and we cannot win. Still, there is a continent in front of us, a frontier to crawl up and sleep under. Come to the river and wash in the winter water flowing past us, reflecting on a city that is across and another that shines beyond it to welcome our lack of uniforms and full pockets, so long as we keep the noise and fire down to levels the architecture can stand. Gather boats and flags and banners, howl and match every note from the wind, or retire by your rudders and get sick. This is new territory for us to weep by.